In this short video, I'm going to take you through one of the questions from exercise 6b that's talking about transformations. In this case, it's an x squared transformation. Now, question 3 from exercise 6b um, says, 3a says, plot the data in the following table and comment on the form of the relationship between y and x. Part b says, apply a squared transformation to the x values, x squared. Again, plot the data and comment on the form of the relationship between y and x squared. Part C says fit a line to the transformed data and write down its equation. Use the equation to predict the value of y when x equals 6. Alrighty, so to answer this question, the first thing you need to do is enter this data table into a graphics calculator. So here we go. Uh, using a graphics calculator, the need to go to home and you are wanting to add a list and a spreadsheet. Now going up to the top, the first thing you need to do is to label columns, column X and Y and then enter your data. So in this case it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 as the X values. 30, 27, 22, 15, and 6 are the Y values. Now we've got those uh, in our list and spreadsheet, we need to uh, plot them. In order to do that, you click the Home button, go to Data and Statistics. Now the random set of dots comes up, you want to put the Y variable over here. There we go, and you bring the cursor down bottom and put the x value there. Now if we go back to the question, it says plot the data in the following table and comment on the form of the relationship between y and x. Well looking at this uh, diagram here, you can see that the uh, points begin up around 30 and then they begin to drop off, getting dropping off quicker and quicker as we go along the x-axis. So this is not a linear relationship, it is a negative relationship but it's certainly not linear. In order to make it linear we need to uh, apply the x-squared transformation and that's what part b says. Apply a squared transformation to the x-values, again plot the data and comment on the form of the relationship. So this relationship here is negative and it's getting uh, more negative quickly as uh, the x values increase. Now to apply the y squared transformation you need to press control and back to go back to your original table. Come up here and we're going to call this column x squared y, uh, sorry x s cubed as its label. If you come down to the grey box you need to click or type in um, equals, no not doesn't equal that's it, equals, you need to select var and select the x variable. That's the variable we're going to be squaring and you then square it. Press enter and those data points are populated for you. Now we go back to the data and analysis page, control to the right, come down to the bottom here and change the x variable to the x squared variable. And what that does is, as you can see, that has the effect of linearizing the data. Now that we've done that, we can say that there is a um, strong negative linear relationship between the x squared variable and the y variable in this example. So that would be the comment between y and x squared. The last part of question says fit a line to the transformed data and write down its equation. Use the equation to predict the value of y when x equals 6. So to do this you need to select menu, no you don't want to do that, there we go, analyze, regression and show linear and that will give you the equation. So the equation is y equals 31 plus negative 1 x dash. Now I'm going to show you how that's going to be written on the Word document back here. So 
it's going to be written slightly different to the way the calculator um, shows it. It's written like this. So the calculator is written y equals 31 plus minus x dash. Now if we rearrange this we have y equals 31. Now a plus and a minus is straight away a minus and the dash x is actually the x squared transformation. So this is what the calculator says and this is what um, the actual equation is. Now that we've got that it says what is the value of y when x equals 6. So y equals what when x equals 6. What we need to do is to substitute the values in. y equals 31 minus 6 squared which is 36. That's for you Zach. 31 minus 36 gives me negative 5. So when x is equal to 6, y equals negative 5. And that would be the answer to exercise 6b part 3 part c. The important part from this practice is how to navigate the calculator. It's important that you follow these steps clearly. Now they're listed in or on page uh, 171 to 172 of your textbook if you'd like to have a read. Thanks very much guys. Speak to you soon.